That is, can he coach as a head coach? People are bringing that up saying, okay, he's been with Mark Few, he's watched, but that doesn't necessarily mean it translates from being an assistant to a head coach. My response is we simply don't know, but you've been in that space. You've heard those questions through the years. What do you say to those who wonder about his lack of head coaching experience? Well, it worked for Roy Williams. You know, it's going to work for Hubert Davis. Uh, I think it worked for me pretty good. Uh, <laughs> you know, eventually you got to get a head coaching job. And I would stay in Arizona. I mean, and I, I think Miles would have been a great choice, but Miles has never been a head coach. And Damon Steinemeyer has been a, uh, who I'm a big fan of, but he's been a head coach. It's not like, you know, they've beaten anyone that, you know, you're trying to beat. And I, I think those two guys would have been great choices. I mean, they love the university, their connection to Coach Olson. Uh, they have great reputations, high, you know, character and work ethics and uh, connect with people. But in the end, the administration made, made, made a decision. So if you really do love Arizona, if you're an Arizona fan and really do love Arizona, if you're a former Arizona player and really do love Arizona, uh, then you know what you do? you get behind the coach who's the coach at Arizona and you give him a chance. I hate when these people, hey, that's a good hire. That's a bad hire. What are they thinking? That guy's, why don't you just give people a chance to do their jobs? And then, you know, if they don't do a good job, you have a right to say, you know what? They made a mistake. But until that happens, it just, it, it frustrates me. And, every, and no one knows, like, no one knows what a good hire is a bad hire until someone sits in that seat. Yeah. So, you know, you know, Tom Love might be the best coach in the history of Arizona eventually before long. He's young enough where he could be there a really long time. Uh, you've never heard anything said about the Gonzaga program in the least bit in terms of, in terms of lack of credibility or lack of integrity or, you know, doing things the right way. And I think that, uh, you know, I think that was part of it. I mean, you know, they've got an image that is, uh, you know, I'd say Villanova and Gonzaga probably the two best images in college basketball. So uh, before people condemn the hire, I'd say give him a chance. Meet him. Get to know him. You're condemning someone you don't even know. You know, here is vision for the program. Here is a commitment to the, to, to the past and how he's going to honor the past and obviously include them in, in, in the program moving forward. Uh, he's surely a pretty bright guy. And if you speak to the former players at Gonzaga, you know, they all say incredible things about him in terms of a communicator and a connector and I, disappointment is part of it. I mean, but athletic directors are hired to make decisions. Presidents are hired to make decisions and give the people a chance to make a decision, support the person. If it doesn't work, you know, then you can turn and say, you know what, why didn't we do X, Y, and Z? Yeah. But surely starting, you know, and, and condemning something that never has not even been established yet just to make any sense to me.